Good morning, everyone. Sorry about all the noise, but we're out at the John F. Burke Nature Preserve in Farmers Branch, Texas. You can see the sign behind me. And the reason for all the noise is it starts off, as you can see overhead, that is the President George Bush Tollway. Uh, it's right off of Valley View Lane. The address is on Valley View Lane. And of course, I'll post maps and links with everything, uh, information for it. Uh, but this is supposed to be a pretty little preserve. Of course, it's winter, so the trees are going to be all brown, but it's got ponds, trails, um, wetland stuff. So we're going to go wander around, check it out. It's a little bit later in the day. We were out earlier this morning at Grapevine, just doing a drive around, see what's out there, and decided to come on out here today. It was pretty and sunny, but shortly before we got here, a bank of clouds rolled in, so it's a bit overcast now. So we'll go see what's uh, going on and see what nature offers for us today. It's supposed to be a pretty park, so let's go find out. Well, we left out from under the entryway there, took the first turn off where there's the blue and the green trail. If you look at the map, there's a, I put a link for a PDF map and it's got them all clear, uh, clearly marked on there, which uh, the pond trail and the river trail, uh, they run together and then we'll get a little bit further and they'll split and go off different directions. But obviously here's the pond that is referenced on the pond trail, obviously. The trail so far, are in pretty good shape and then here by the pond there's some nice little picnic benches uh, little tables and an open area there's Joe sitting back there um, we're a little further away from the Georgia Bush Tollway so it's a little bit quieter if you're looking for uh, peace and quiet probably not the park you're gonna want to come to right off the bat I don't know how much quieter it gets further out we are it starts like I said just under the president Georgia Bush Tollway we're just maybe a mile north of 635 in the heart of Farmers Branch, uh, bordering close to Irving, Las Colinas area. So, and the airport, DFW airport is just a little bit away from us too. So we're probably gonna get airplane flyovers as well. So as far as peace and quiet, probably not so much here. You're not gonna come out and enjoy the, the quiet of the woods and the songbirds nearly as much because you're gonna hear lots of traffic. that's probably never gonna stop. Um, so it's just it's the way it is but it's so far it's uh, pretty nice the trails are good there's a I just looked up and there's a white egret flying overhead so uh, we've seen quite a few little songbirds already kind of hard to hear them over the roar of the traffic maybe as we get further into the trails in the woods so uh, we're gonna see how it is but so far as far as hiking and walking um, looks pretty nice so far probably a good chance for some wildlife as we came down the first trail I saw where something had been rooting in the ground looked like uh, was probably an armadillo based on the shape of the hole that it was. So there's some wildlife out here. So let's go see and see if we can encounter any and see if maybe perhaps it gets at least a little bit quieter further back in the woods. If not, well, we can still commune with nature just with the roar of traffic in the background. Well, we've come a little ways down where those two trails uh, head off into the woods. And as you can see behind me, the trails are in pretty good shape. They're packed dirt. So I suspect after a rain, it would probably be a little bit muddy. Um, but as we came along, I've noticed on the pond, there's one on this side and I could see one across the other side. There's some bird blinds with some benches where you can sit and watch birds out on the pond there. There are signs scattered throughout the preserve. Here's one talking about wetlands, uh, explaining the importance and the significance of wetlands and what they are. And then to help you find your way, if you look behind me on the tree, we are on the blue and the green trail for this point. I suspect when they diverge, we'll only see one sign, one of the little metal placards uh, indicating the trail we're on based on whichever trail we go. So if you forget which trail you're on, you'll come across these periodically and that way it'll remind you. And as you can see where the trails go off there, there's uh, bicycle tracks, so apparently people come out cycling, good for walking, hiking, fitness. Uh, it's a pretty park. Um, very nice so far, so we're going to press on and see what else we can see. Well, we've come a little bit further, and as you can see behind me, there's a nice little sign that lets me know that the pond loop goes off one direction, the river loop goes off the other, and the trails are still in great shape. We've got a little sign here, it talks about opossums, so you can if you're unfamiliar with them, it gives you some information and background on them. And there are tons of songbirds out here. We can, if you listen carefully, 
you can hear them over the roar of the traffic. Uh, I've seen quite a variety so far. Uh, kind of hard getting photos because songbirds are very temperamental and they flit and fly around a whole lot, but I'm gonna try to get what I can, see if we can identify some of the birds that are out here. But um, other than the roar of the noise of the traffic, that is just gonna be a constant thing apparently out here. It's really, it's a, it's a nice park even on a bleak winter day, overcast, brown trees. It's winter, it's expected, but still, very nice so we're gonna press on a little further and uh, see what else is out here very pleasant so far well at the split back there we took off on the river trail and as you can see behind me it's at the river we've reached the end of it and this is the Elm Fork of the Trinity River uh, the Trinity River runs through the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and splits off and there are several different forks. There's the Elm Fork, the Clear Fork, uh, I forget what the others are, but there's several little splits and they just keep the name of it, the Trinity River, then I don't know if they ever come back together or what they do, I've never looked at a map. But as I came up here, I saw a belted kingfisher fly across the river, I uh, just saw a woodpecker fly overhead. Uh, so even in the winter, there's still a fair bit of uh, bird activity out here and we've seen quite a bit of scat on the trail I'm presuming it looks like coyote so I'm sure there are coyote as as the city has grown up uh, around and taken over much of the natural habitat of the wild animals they've been forced into these preserves and parks and places like that because they've got to have a place to live and so you'll see them in here so I suspect if we come out early in the morning you might see uh, coyotes bobcats uh, and other wildlife hard to tell what all is out here so but it's it's been very pleasant, so we're gonna go back the river trail, hook up with the pond trail, and then go on around that way and see what else we can see that direction. And of course, as you can hear, and as you can see if I turn this way, there's the President George Bush Tollway again, uh, as evidenced by all of the traffic noise. So again, that's just a part of life out here. I suspect if we come out in the spring, everything is brown now, but in the spring, this looks like it's gonna be a a very pretty park, lots of trees and vines and growth, so uh, we'll probably come back in the spring when it's all green and do another video out here so you can see what it looks like when it's not all dry and brown in a Texas winter. And we're going to move off and see what else we can see as we go the other direction. Well, we connected with from the river loop to the pond loop and followed the pond loop around to where it connects. Uh, if you can see the sign behind me, it's a bit small with a thicket loop. There are three loops out here. Each one is about between half to three quarters of a mile, give or take a little bit. So not too bad. So you can get a little bit of walking in out here. The pond loop, while it is named the pond loop because it circles around the pond, the path that we followed from the river loop, it actually walks along the river. So you can see the river at various points as you walk along on the pond loop. And I'm gonna turn into the sun. Let me get the tree shaded me a little bit. Behind me, you can see that the clearing, if you go straight back there, you can actually go down and look back over the river again and then the thicket loop goes back off that way, the direction that Joe is headed. And of course, as I point out, there are signs and trails, there's benches. So uh, very nice trail so far, very easy to walk, pleasant. Um, lots of songbirds again. Haven't seen anything else other than the songbirds and a few that's all. Um, the kingfisher, I've seen some jays, a woodpecker. So mostly birds, no other wildlife, but again, it is a little later in the morning as well. Um, so we're going to go a little further. I think we'll wander around the thicker loop and see what we can see that way and uh, see just what else is out here. Well, we made it back to the car. Uh, it's a nice little park. It's not a lot of trails. Uh, we walked almost all of the trails, a couple little cutoffs we didn't hit, and we still were under two miles. So if you're looking for a park that doesn't have a lot uh, long trails or you can do a short walk this is a good one there are no amenities out here no restrooms no water fountains uh, so be prepared for that uh, noise is normal this is why I'm closing this video out in the car so you can actually hear me over the roar of the cars that are going by constantly overhead uh, so it's it's not a ton of wildlife if you're looking for nature and stuff probably not the best part for that it's more better more for uh, just come out and do a little hike or walk or maybe ride your bike a uh, little exercise in I say if you're looking for peace and quiet don't look here because it's not <laughs> quiet at all 
the cars never stop. Uh, you have the airplanes overhead from the air, nearby airport. So, you know, it's it's a different sort of park. If you're in the vicinity, just wanting to get out and do a little walking or cycling, it's good for that. Uh, so I would recommend it for that. Uh, you know, it's in Farmer's Branch, so it's convenient for a lot of folks living in this area here. But, you know, nature, wildlife, probably not the greatest park for that. There's some out here, but not a ton. A lot of songbirds, but didn't see much else. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's a pleasant little day. So thanks for coming along. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.